There was plenty more gold. They just didn't have any way of getting to it back then. So they sat on the secret and let it turn into legend. But it seems William Pinnacle had figured out how to wrap his mitts around that legend and call it his own. Prisoners? What the hell are they doing in here? Oh, no freaking way! It's slight! Figures they'd use prison labor. Who'd better to authorize this shady sort of extracurricular activity than the mayor himself? Pinnacle certainly had some things to answer for, and the list was growing longer. Suddenly, everything made sense. As mayor of Grant City, Pinnacle trumped up a bogus subway plan and rerouted the diggers into the heart of the mother load. It was a pretty brilliant plot. Steal billions of dollars of gold right out from under the citizens of Grant City while having the chumps pay for the endeavor. That's what Dad discovered. And that's why they killed him. I knew there was corruption in City Hall, but I didn't think it went as far as murder. The mayor had some serious sins to confess, and I was gonna see him stand in judgment, even if it meant sending him to hell myself. I followed the mayor from his downtown office to the Iron Point Penitentiary. The prison was facing federal investigation after my now legendary escape and the riots that followed. All of the inmates may have been transferred to other prisons, but Pinnacle still had them working his minds. The $20,000 question, however, why the personal visit? I'd be sure to ask him before feeding him his own teeth. Okay, Pinnacle, you rat bastard son of a bitch. Which rock are you hiding under? I want this place scrubbed so clean the feds will think it was a freaking hospital. You got me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Hey, you see the boss around? Pinnacle? He was checking out the gas chamber last I saw. Make sure it didn't suffer any leaks in the riot. You're one rat-head load of crap, Slate. You just can't stay down, can you? Was hoping to speak with the mayor. He around? Well, he's busy seeing this place is laid tidy before the feds decide to poke their noses around. You know. Wall off them tunnels you stumbled through on your way out. Where's Hildy? For hook juice her up and ship her off to Babylon? What? That skinny one time looker? Trust me, Gaither. She's happy now. The last thing she wants is some washed out fugitive bomb holding a skirt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm washed out? Man, what happened to your boxing career? You couldn't even cheat smart. That's just wrong, Gaither. Take it back. Or I'll tear your bloody crust off. Haha, <laughs> like you could. You just wanted the chef's special, right? That's not bad, Giza. Think you can do it out in your breath? Yeah, you see? There you go. That's how you cheat like a pro. Dumb son of a bitch. Not bad, Jeff. I'm impressed. Perhaps I should have hired you to head this operation. Why not? I already know where all your tunnels lead. Maybe I can give the feds a guided tour when they get here. Hell, I'll even show them where I buried your body. Relax, Junior. I didn't kill your father. If you haven't figured that out by now, you aren't half the detective I took you for. He found out about your gold mining scheme. He was carving your logo in the cement when he bled to death. That's true. But again, I didn't kill your father. Nor did I order his death. I may be involved in some, uh, questionable activities, but not murder. Yeah, well, who did then? There are pernicious forces in this city. Forces who have gathered evidence that could destroy some of its most prominent citizens, such as myself. You're not answering the question. Who was the first cop to show up when you called in your father's death? Hennessy. A little off his beat, isn't it? What are you telling me that Hennessy killed my dad? Come on. You've underestimated him far too long. He's blackmailing half the city. He's not only got the ability to put me in a federal penitentiary, but every criminal on this side of the river. 
He's even got the power to frame good cops like you and your father. My... my dad. Surely you knew Hennessy wasn't on the up and up. I, I knew he was an asshole, but, but why kill my father? He was already kicked off the force. He found out about my golden account with Fahook. The same one Hennessy liked to dip into every now and then. The greedy little bastard was just looking out for his money tree and had no compunctions against hiring Mayhem Inc. to ensure its safety. Sending me after Blatz. He knew. As distasteful as it might seem to you, I would like to propose an alliance. Together, we eliminate Hennessy and his files, and in return, you will have avenged your father's murder, and I'll see to it that you're pardoned. Pinnacle story about Hennessy filled in too many blanks. When my father learned the truth, he had to be killed. That left me as the odd man out. Hennessy could stop the other cops from investigating the murder properly, but when I showed up at the crime scene, it threw his plans out of whack. So he set me up. So where are these files located exactly? Pinnacle's plan was simple. He would call Hennessy and tell him I was chasing him around the prison or something. Hennessy would jump like a racehorse at the prospect of shutting me up for good. Look out! He's over here! I need backup! He's going for the radio. I gotta stop that guy before he gets Hennessy on the horn. Hennessy, come in! Come in! Hey, Dick, you copy? It's stupid. What's the damn frequency? This was it. This is where Hennessy kept his treasure cleverly disguised as criminal evidence. You know civilization is collapsing when there's nobody policing the police. This city is rotting from the inside out. I'd seen those masks before, in the cemetery and at the pier. Now I knew how I'd been blasting, Gak boys in disguise. Hennessy had been trying to kill me since I escaped the chair. This looked like what I came for, and more. I'm sure if I stuck around long enough, I'd find all sorts of bad voodoo that could take Hennessy to his grave. But this would be plenty. And it wouldn't be much longer before Hennessy's posse realized I wasn't at the prison anymore. Taking Hennessy down was certainly a priority, but I couldn't help but feel wrong about giving Pinnacle a clean record to work off of. Maybe I could kill two birds with one stone. Gloria, it's Jack. I think I've got something you'd be very interested in seeing. Jack. I, I hadn't heard from you, and started to worry. I'm fine. Here, this is all the dirt you need to see Pinnacle get beaten down. First in the election, then maybe in a prison yard if we're lucky. You know, when I hired your father to dig that up, I, I had no idea how serious things were going to get. Yeah, we'll take this to the press or whatever, but don't take it to the police. They're in on it. I know. Whoa, whoa, what is this? What are you doing? Pinnacle said he'd kill me if I didn't cooperate. I'm sorry, Jack, but I'm pulling out of the election. But you got him by the balls. The information in that bundle Will get me killed. I don't know how you can live day to day in the face of fear, but I don't have your kind of stamina. I thought by surrounding myself in a public office with people fighting by my side, I could battle the corruption, but not alone. Gloria. for her anyway, huh? Hildy, what are you... Where were you? Are you okay? Are you kidding? I'm, I'm fine. I'm set. Finally. What are you... The hook said this stuff was worth a lot. Promised me a small fortune if I got it for him. And God knows I got bills. Sorry, Jack. Just let me do this. But what about... I, I thought when this was over, we could... Look, there is no we, Jack. Your father was killed. I felt bad for you. You were hurt. I helped you out. I'm flattered you thought about me that way, but... Well, you shouldn't. You're saying you'd shoot me? <sighs> Let's not find out. Look, I've been struggling my entire life. I can't even hang on to a lousy job for more than a couple of weeks. You actually think I could live on a cop's salary? Sitting by the phone every night, waiting for that call from the captain telling me I'm on my own again? Please. Just stay out of this, Jack. For your own sake. 